your first sentence, first paragraph describes what you intend to prove or express throughout the rest of your, uh, your paper or your document or your text. And uh, so that is kind of your uh, you know, compass, if you will, that helps steer you in the right direction. If it's kind of writing that uses a thesis statement, which is uh, the opinion that you're going to support, then you need to state that and tell the reader precisely what that is. OK, here's my whole essay right here. I see all of these points, and so I know I have a thesis statement. When buying a new car, you have to consider finances, where to go, what the make is, what your family needs are, and uh, features of the car. You've chosen those four points or five points. That's your introductory sentence. Then you get a paragraph about each of those points, hoping that you can expand a little bit on them, like you expand on financing. And, and then in your conclusion, you restate, but with a new twist. So there are many things to think about when you're buying a new car, and you might want to add another sentence on. We need to talk about how you basically structure an essay and you start to write off with your who it is and why that person's a hero to you. My father is a hero because, and then you got into your reasons why, which is what it asks you for here. What made him or her a hero to you? First thing to do after you've got your points down is to say, okay, I see where I'm going with this. Now I have to get a lead, an introductory part that shows people where I'm going, and then get your points in. What do you do in the body of this particular essay? You start getting into details about basically yeah. what, it con what the introduction is, mm -hmm. like contrast details. or whatever. You might contrast, yeah. right? You know, more in details. Details about what? Of whatever the topic that you're writing on. But what is the topic? Let's get let's get detail on the details here. The details you want to have are what, what? makes. Yeah, what? go back to so, your part. Yeah. Very good. Whoever who is a hero or what makes a hero to you or something like that. Who and why? Mm -hmm. That's basically what they want here. It's going to be an opinion piece or a, a persuasive piece or something. You want to use some specific examples to support it. You want to come as much as possible from some personal experience. If you can put some personal experiences in, that always strengthens your writing. But take this sensor off the shoulder that says, oops, you misspelled that. Oops, a comma goes there. Get rid of that and get your ideas down. You choose what would be strongest in the writing. You can't put everything in there. You'd go on forever, especially if you've got a time limit. If you just sort of let yourself go and let the words tumble through your pencil and then go back and edit them later, you can do amazing things. Um, too many people have editors in their heads, mean little people who say, S don't write that. That's a split infinitive. That's a grammatical error. And um, here at Hugo House, I'm really interested in getting all of the grammatical errors down on the page, all of the things that seem wrong, and then going back and revising them. The first draft is, is a freebie. If you have time to get a good first draft, that gives you time to sit back and say, okay, I like this, I don't like that, and it gives you one more shot when you revise.